Agamazing! This is Sir Bass of Sir Bass TV. In our last video, we learned that there are two types of reproduction, sexual and asexual reproduction. In this video, we are going to learn the different types of asexual reproduction. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AgAmazing. Let's go! You already know that asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction that involves only one parent. Since there is only one parent involved, the resulting offspring is exactly alike with its parent. There are six types of asexual reproduction. Spore formation, budding, fission, fragmentation, regeneration, and vegetative propagation. Let us first talk about spore formation. Spore formation is a type of asexual reproduction where organisms reproduce by forming spores. Spores are the single-celled reproductive unit of non-flowering plants, bacteria, fungi, and algae. Take a look at this bread mold under the microscope. The black, round structure at the tip of a stalk is called a spore case which contains the spores. When the spore case opens, the tiny spores are released and may be carried by wind or water. Once the spore lands in a favorable environment, it develops into a new organism. Examples of organisms that reproduce through spore formation are mushroom, molds, and ferns. Next is budding. In budding, a new organism is formed from an outgrowth from the parent. This outgrowth is called a bud. When the bud matures and develops, it separates from the parent and becomes a new organism. Yeast and hydra are examples of organisms that reproduce from budding. The next type is fission or binary fission. In binary fission, an organism grows and duplicates its genetic material, then divides into two. The results are two genetically identical daughter cells. The word fission means to split or to divide. Sea anemones, bacteria, and amoeba reproduce by fission. Next is fragmentation. Fragmentation happens when new organism grows from a fragment of the parent. Each of these fragments develop into matured, fully grown individuals. A good example of organism that reproduce through fragmentation is a planarian. When a planarian is fragmented into different pieces, these pieces can develop into matured and fully grown individual planarian. Aside from planarian, other examples of organisms that perform fragmentation are starfish or sea star. Next is regeneration. Regeneration occurs when a body part is detached from the parent. This part grows and develops into a completely new individual. For example, the contact disc of a starfish may be break into two pieces through fission. Then, each piece regenerates the missing parts. Regrowth or regeneration of lost parts such as in the case of lizard steel is not considered a type of reproduction since no new organism is formed. And the last one is vegetative propagation. It is a method where a new plants are obtained from the parts of old plants like stems, roots, and leaves without the use of any reproductive parts. Potatoes, ginger, onion, garlic, and strawberry are some of the plants that can be propagated using this method. Study the table below to understand more about the different parts of a plant that can be propagated. These include runners or stolons, rhizomes, tubers, bulbs, and corn. 
And those are the different types of asexual reproduction. Try to answer this activity to test your understanding of the different types of asexual reproduction. You can compare your answers with the answer key at the end of this video. Do not forget to comment your score with the hashtag AgAmazing. See you at our next science lesson.